without borders. We are here to help you. Please sit down and listen to me. Okay? Step, step, Alan. Okay, uh, boat is in good condition. Uh, there's about 30, 30, 30 women on board. Seven children, seven children. During a rescue, it's always uh, possible, of course, that there will be panic in the boats or that there is panic already in the boats that we want to, to rescue. It's possible that the boat will deflate, that the boat will capsize, that the boat is taking water, that people will jump overboard. Um, a lot of things can happen during a rescue, of course, because you have to imagine being with 140 people in a dinghy. It's, it's crazy to see that, to see these people on the sea. So they are all very uh, tense, very, very nervous. So anything can happen every moment. Okay, life jacket distribution completed, you can proceed over. The prudence is coming, huh? Okay, good copy. first time since I'm here is that there was the Spanish um, aircraft who was um, the on-scene coordinator so the MRCC in Rome put them as on-scene coordinator and they told us uh, where to go yes Steph, go ahead say hello to him okay good copy I see the boat it's always a specific moment when you see a boat approaching because you don't know the intentions they have. They came uh, to ask us what we were doing and they were friendly. They observed the rescue and then they left. Okay. I think we can proceed for the rescue. The last rescue was a boat of 125 people on board, but they were quite uh, quiet and the rescue went very, very smooth. didn't panic they were able to just stay calm as soon as they had the life jackets on it was really hot and my fear was that people would get really stressed out and start to jump in the water but they, they stayed calm our team did a great job and it went really smoothly <laughs> 